let's see through this practical example how can we use the count if function in Excel and also the count ifs function. And let's see the difference between both. Here I have basically a sales report, but it doesn't matter what type of data you have in your Excel because the count if is going to count everything that you have using a criteria. Here I have as the data, the date, the month, the item, the quantity, the total, the order ID, and also the region name. So let's say I want to count the total orders that I have for each one of the regions, south, west, north, and east. I can use the equal sign count if function to help me. And as you can see, when I type here equal sign and then count, there's a lot of different functions in Excel that uh, starts with count. Count, count A, count blank, count ifs. What is the difference between those functions? The count function is going to count only the numbers that you, you have within the range that you selected, only the numbers. But if you want to use uh, to count everything that you have, including texts, numbers, percentage, or anything else, you know, you have something in the cell, you want to count it, you can use the count A function. Count A is going to count everything but the empty cells. And you also can count the blanks using the count blank cell. That way you can count the empty cells. But uh, here we're going to see it. Count if and count ifs. Basically, the difference between those two, count if and count ifs, with the S in the suffix, is that we can use more criteria. I want to count all the orders that I have for each one of the regions. So I can use count if function to help me because I just have one condition only, that is the region. Double clicking the count if, I want you to select as the range, I need to select the range where I have the criteria. So it can be either a small range like this within the region, because the region is my criteria, or I can select the entire column G to select everything that I have. Choma, what is my criteria? My criteria can be the region that is south, so I can click over this cell. Or I can manually input this data, such as open quotations and then salt close quotations close parentheses enter it's gonna work in the same way but i think it's important here to automate because whenever i click in the bottom right corner of the cell hold and drag down like this as you can see the criteria is not gonna change so i think if we make it dynamic it's much easier to cope now the function uh so as the criteria i want to select the cell that i have to the to the left like this and then enter okay now if i go back to the bottom right corner of the cell hold and drag down like this as you can see i have all the orders for each one of the regions that i have and i can even make some analysis here such as the east is the region that i sold the least the west is the region that i sold the most and the south and the north is in between in the middle now let's move on to the second example here where we can use the count ifs function with the s in the suffix uh we're gonna use the equal sign the count ifs function instead of the previous one because now we have two different criteria the first one can be the month january february march april and on and on doesn't matter and uh the second criteria is the region so this is why i'm using here the count ifs function one two and then i need to select here the first criteria range as my first argument within the count ifs function and it can be either the region or the month doesn't matter so let me stick with the month just to change things a little bit and then trauma and as I select as my criteria range the month, I need to select the month itself to match to match the criteria. Okay, comma. As the second criteria range now, I can use the regions like this, comma. And my last argument here is going to be the region itself, the name. Close parentheses, and then I can press enter. In the January, I have seven different sales in the in the south region. But instead of using January, I can let's say use March and then press enter. And as you can see. Uh, instead of having seven, I have now 10 different sales for the, the South region in March. Something very important here before we click in the bottom right corner, click hold and drag down. Uh, it's important to lock the reference where we have the month. Because I don't want to, the reference of the month to go down. I want to fix this reference in this exactly position. I don't want to move it. So it's very important to go here and uh, select the cell where I'm referencing the month. And then press the F4 key. F4 key to lock the reference and uh, that way i'm gonna have two dollar signs one before the column or the letter m and one before the number or the column 14 enter and then in the bottom right corner click hold and drag down and that's it so i can see here a different analysis how many times i have a specific order for each one of the regions let's change back here instead of using march maybe i can use again january enter okay so as you can see it's automatically update for us so this is how we can use those two different functions in Excel, count if and count ifs. And if you have any questions about this subject or if you want to suggest a new video, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow as ever day has a new video. I see you there.